Hello guys, Awful Edward Walcott here. Um, I want to deal with the question which I get asked quite a bit by people in my team and from people in my business around the world. Um, and that is, how do you deal with negative people? What do you do when you've got what we call haters or people who um, just think that you aren't going to succeed in your business? Let me start with a very personal story. Um, I remember in my early days, before I was a success I am now, when before I'd made my first sales, I was really working hard for a few weeks and one or two months before my business began to explode. I never forget some, uh, I was at a family dinner and some friends came round and one of them asked me, this is Orville, uh, you know, it was a lovely dinner, lots of family were there and friends and they knew what I was, I'd started something online and I think one or two had seen some of my videos online and they said to me, they said, Orville, um, that video on, on your YouTube channel, um, what, what's it about? So I, I sort of, you know, rather sheepishly didn't want to go into the details. And then I said, you know, I'm starting an online business. And they said, oh, they said, well, how long has it been going for? As so I told them, they said, oh, how much money have you made? You know that feeling? How much money have you made? And I hadn't made a red cent at that point. So I think, well, what do I say? And so my, my family and my siblings and cousins were there and other friends and looked at me and you know, it's like the spotlight was on me. I was like sweating. And I said, well, I've done everything my upline has said, my coaches have said, and I've made nothing. And it was a silence. It was that look of Orville, are you an idiot? That was then. Of course, that is no longer the case. I've now started making a lot of money through the business. Now, I say that to you because I don't know any person who hasn't gone through that. It's pretty much normal whereby things tend to sometimes take a bit longer. Now, you know, I give my results and yes, I've made thousands. You know, I recall, for example, within a few uh, months making my first $1,250 sale, um, then literally $5,500. That is per one sale. Now, that could happen for you, it may happen sooner, it may happen a bit later, but the point is how do you deal with haters? Because you've got to process it in your mind, you know, you can be resentful of them, you can be angry with them. I don't think any of that works. Let me give you what I found as some proven steps with dealing with people who just don't really understand what you're trying to build. That could be your friends or family or those closest to you. Number one, You've got to understand that whilst you are very confident and you know what you're building, not everyone sees it that way. Um, so you've got to understand that it's not personal. You know, I was recording, just talking to my uh, my dad and some other friends who, um, even some actually friends, funny enough, who are now in the business making a lot of money, who used to laugh and giggle at me, who are now in the business making money, and I joke with them by saying, just think how fun it used to be. The first thing you've got to do, number one, is understand that not everyone is entrepreneurial. You are, but everyone is. That's the first thing. Number two, I found, is you've got to forgive people. For example, when doing this video, if, if I was full of resentment and hatred towards what people said, it holds you back. It doesn't hold them back, it holds you back. For example, if you're full of resentment, you know, I, I would never be able to do videos like this. So, so one of the reasons that I'm so successful is I do videos along with a lot of other paid advertising and content marketing that draws people to me. Now, if I'm in a foul mood, feeling really angry and aggressive, there's no way I'd do a video. You know, when you're full of unforgiveness, it makes you shrink into your shell. That's the second thing, let it go. Let it, let it go. Forgiving them frees you up to be all you can be. The third step I would absolutely say is, let me give you some examples. I think of a guy named Devikas and also Walter Throb. Walter actually lost his business and then went into foreclosure. So he lost his home and some of his friends and family laughed at him. He's actually about $48,000 in debt. Last year he made $115,000 in the same business system that I'm in. Um, I think of another guy named Mark, the same thing. He was in debt $20,000 and now has made over $72,000 in counting. Now, I could go on, but my point is this, right now, it depends on what motivates you. I would be motivated by the fact that if people said that I couldn't do something, it'd make me want to do it even more. Not less, even more. You've, it, and it all comes down to this. You've got to have a strong sense of your why. Now, I won't get into goal setting too much because I do lots of international training on that. But with goal setting, having a clear why is everything everything. I have books upon books written down of what my why is. Why for me, this is more the business, a sense of calling. I'm put on this earth. I know the reason I'm put on this earth. I draw breath every day 
Hey, what about the money? Yes, the money's nice. The travel is nice. I'm, I live in London here. I'm in lovely Prague. The money and the luxury stuff is nice. But for me, it is about empowering people like you to realize that you can make it. And once you have that clear drive, that power, that clarity of vision, I need to start right now, T today, do not go to bed tonight without sitting down, TV off, phone off, and you should be, able to, should be able to do this, writing down exactly what your why is. What would it mean for your family if you're financially free? Conversely, flip it on its head, what would it mean if you fail? What would it mean if you go into retirement with, and your retirement fund, which for most people dries up so quickly, but you're going to have to scale down your quality of living? What will it mean if it's going to mean, you have, like most people, you'd have to work two or three jobs, not till your 80s, until you drop down dead? That's how most people are going. You see, the stronger your why is, it gives you a burning drive inside and a very, very thick skin. Therefore, what other people will say about you just doesn't bother you. Now, the ne next thing, and I love this point, I save the best until last. I love this point. You can see the fire in my eyes. The next point is this, you have to cull some people from your life. Now, I must confess, when I first heard this from a team of millionaires I worked with, I found it rather hard. I, I just thought, what, what do you mean, cull? Do you mean to kill? They said, yes. Now, I'm not suggesting, of course, you go out and kill people. What I'm saying is, there's some people in your life who, they are very happy when you're down here. They're quite happy to see that you're broke and you're not successful. The moment you start, the, the very threat, or basically is a threat, of you starting to be successful, it scares them. And so they're just not comfortable with it. Everyone around me, I would say 95% of the people on my phone, the people who I associate with, the people I regard as friends, the ones I spend the most time with are people who are very, very successful and really have my best interests at heart. Harvard University and Princeton did a study and it showed this, you know, that effectively birds of a feather flock together. They actually worked out that your closest seven to 10 people in your life that you spend most of your time with, you earn $20,000 either above or beneath what they earn. So if you, for example, earn $40,000, then your closest people around you, your closest uh, seven to 10, they'll be earning either uh, 20,000 or 60,000. Why? I guess, I guess it's because we're just affected by those around us, either consciously or subconsciously. So, you know, I think I did, and I must confess, I, again, I'm very honest and open about my struggles and my successes. This was something which held me back for a while. For a while, I couldn't figure out why I was doing well but not astronomically well. And my, one of my mentors said to me, he said, Orville, there's some people in your life you just need to get rid of. Um, you know, when you were down here, they were good for you here, but not where you're going here. Now, if you're struggling with that, I understand, but it's, um, as a leader, there's some truths I'm gonna give you which are gonna be hard to swallow, but swallow them you must if you're gonna succeed. And let me explain this to you. Um, there's a saying I have which is this, because we know the power of thinking, and because that, you know, you're affected by what you think, your success is equivalent to your thoughts. We know that your friends and those around you affect how you think. So it's not a case that you ever, it's not a case that I ever think I'm better than anyone else, because that's pride. You don't think you're better than anyone else, but you can think better. It's different, did you get that? It's not that you think you're better than anyone else, but you can think better than anyone else. People who are successful in, in business, they tend to mix predominantly with people who are also like-minded because you are impacted by those around you. And that's something, you know, I've done lots of coaching and I love doing consultancy work with people and troubleshooting where the problems are in their business. But here's what I found a lot of the time, oftentimes the biggest problem in people's businesses, it's not sort of in their email marketing or in their funnels or any of the other technical stuff, it's up here. You know, they are so attached to their past, they are clinging to people who they feel they have to be friends with, which hold them back and drag them down. How can you know that? Here's the thing. Anyone who can't celebrate your success or pending success, cut them loose. Cut them loose. Guys, I can tell you this right now. I work with as someone who's successful myself. I work with people day in, day out. They all say it happened for them. Cut them loose. Wish them well. Move on. All the friends you lose, you'll get them back anyway and mix with people who are really successful. I guarantee your self-esteem and your income in time will absolutely skyrocket. So I hope you found this useful, like I said. Um, if some of it is a bit hard-hitting, I don't apologize for that. My job is to help you succeed and I look forward to seeing it on the inside. So please do share this uh, with people, you know, who are, you know, like yourself, who are looking to build a business, people who may be struggling with, you know, all the, ha you know, people who are thinking, how do I deal with haters? You know, how, that, how do I cope with that misunderstanding? 
uh, people, friends or family who think it's not going to happen. Um, and please pass it on, it's going to help them. And the link below, you can reach out to me on Facebook as well. If you're struggling with your self-esteem or confidence, I can also help you with that, as well as other elements of helping you build your business. So to your success, bye-bye.